Hi, now we are going to solve a problem in which we have to convert a 1D array into a 2D array. Like you can see in this example, here you are given 1, 2, 3, 4 and you have converted it into a 2 dimensional array with 2 rows and 2 columns in this one. So, let's see what this problem is all about. In this problem, you are given a 1D array and the rows and columns which should be there in the two-dimensional array as an output. So, like, as you can see, here is an example that I have already described to you. It, in this, you have output as a two-dimensional array with two rows and two columns. Now, it might also be a case that the number of elements in the one dimensional array is not equal to the elements which should be in the output of a 2D array. Like with one row and one column, you can have only one element in a two dimensional array. But you are given here, uh, you are given two elements in the one dimensional array. So in this, so this case will be considered as an invalid test case. So you have to return an empty 2D array as an output for this type of input. Now let's see the approach to solve this problem. So first we will take one variable m as the number of rows and as the number of columns in the output. And total, which is the number of elements present in the one dimensional array. So, first thing that we have to check is if the total number of elements in the one dimensional array is not equal to the number of elements possible in the two dimensional array of size m cross n. If this is the case, then you have to return an m to the array. Now, if the total number of elements equals to the total number of elements in the output of 2D array, which are m cross n, then you have to move m iterations over the one dimensional array, and in each iteration, you have to pick n elements. Now, why m iterations? Because you need m rows in the output 2D array. And why n elements in each iteration? Because the two-dimensional array has n columns. So like in this example, you can see in the first row, you will pick two elements, which are one and two. And in the second row, you will pick two elements, three and four. So for that, you will have two iterations, which are m two rows, so two iterations over the one dimensional array and in each iteration you will pick up two elements which are n, two columns. So you will pick two elements in each iteration. So I hope it is clear to you and let's see how to code this problem. Now this is the page of the tool where we are going to solve this problem. Now, in this problem, you are given a one dimensional array, which is original and M for the number of rows in the final output and N for the number of columns, the final output of two dimensional array. Now, first of all, we will find the total number of elements present in the one dimensional array which is the length of the one dimensional array. Now, here first thing that we have to check if m cross n is not equal to total. Now, if this is the case, then you have to return an empty array, empty two dimensional array. So, this is the first case. Now, if the input is valid, then you have to create a one 
two dimensional array which i am creating as this will answer now i have to create one more pointer as iterator to iterate over the elements of the one dimensional array that is original now we are going to make m iterations here and in each iterations we will pick n elements each okay so we are is the iterations so these are the m iterations and in each iteration we will pick n elements to pick n elements we will create one more array and in this in this array we will pick n elements now we will pick n elements from starting from iterator pointer plus ipr plus one iterator plus n elements so why iterator is less than the iterations multiplied by n so like if iterations is one then you have to increment i ITR till n. If iterations value is 2, then you have to in increment ITR till 2 multiplied by n. Like, let me explain it to you. When iterations equal to 21, and ITR will go from 0 to n minus 1 when iterations equal to equal to 2 then itr will go from n to 2 multiplied by n minus 1 so in this way you can iterate over the one dimensional array and pick n elements in each iteration now so you have to simply add an element in the array arr and increment the pointer idea and at the end you have to add that those n elements in the answer This is it and at the end you have to return your two dimensional array now if i run it you will see it passed the sample test cases and then if i submit it it passed all the test cases so this is the approach for this problem convert 1D array into 2D array. So, thank you.